It's your boy Jody back at you again with another video. What's going on, my people, my people, my people? Yo, we as carpet cleaners, we yo, we see all kind of stuff. We hear all kind of craziness. Look, right now, that's why I'm just trying to take it easy. I'm riding through the country. We out here in Florida, enjoying it. And it is critical that we teach our kids the right way how to deal with others and very very under very important you let them know who runs the house all right not only that we as carpet cleaners we have to be so careful when we go in people's houses because guess what if you're the last person there and somebody's missing something guess who they're gonna blame you country we in the country Hey, I was going to ask you a question. Yeah. This, um, that drink, what is that? Is that, um, a tequila or that, the one with the root in it? Oh, no, this is from, uh... <sighs> Some ginseng type of stuff? Yeah, it came from, uh... It's in, um... Korea. Oh, wow, bro. Yeah, that's expensive shit. You get energy or something? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a shot. So, you're gonna beat down, you gonna beat yeah, down the yeah. walls, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see what it is. Yeah. All right, bro. Yo, have a good afternoon, bro. Hold it down, man. What happened? Man, I, I had a homeboy over last night. We was doing some music and shit. And I just realized my fucking handgun is not on the fucking table. What? Yeah, my mags are there, but the gun's gone. Uh oh. Cause I know when he came over, I was wearing these shorts. I was wearing it on my hip. I pulled everything off my mag and shit, set it right over there. Right. And I, you know. Yeah, people. As a carpet cleaner, what ran through my mind? Yeah, you took my gun. But you know what? Buddy was pretty cool. He explained the situation. Stuff like that, though, you just you just feel like, yo, let me try to look and find your gun before I leave here because I don't want nobody to say I took nobody's gun, nobody's stuff. Um, when we go into these houses, we got to be you got to be professional if you want to do this as a career and you you know what I'm saying you're doing this for years. You know what I'm saying making money. You cannot go into people's houses and take their stuff, touch their stuff. No, sometimes some yo. I've been in houses where I get there for two seconds and the guy said he got to leave. This just happened to me last week. But anyway, this guy, he couldn't find his gun. He's looking for it all around the apartment. While I'm there, I'm noticing, you know, he's pacing back and pacing back and forth. I end up, you know, asking him about the, the, the drink, which was a very strong Korean um, drink that like, let me tell you, man, it will open up your blood vessels. All right, get it rock and rolling. But back to the story, he couldn't find his gun. So while I'm rolling up my hose and my pressure line, um, he comes back out and he tells me, Whew. man, I look, it was between the damn couch. Yes, family, the gun fell out and went between the couch. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to be skeptical. There's strangers in your house, but these are the things sometimes that we deal with as carpet cleaners. All right, it's, that it's very important to be honest, to be on the same page with people, and uh, your reputation precedes you. So you got to be honest, and that's why we got to teach our kids. Guess what? It's very important to treat others with, 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 with respect. Um, there was one situation where a guy actually shot a carpet cleaner yeah man it's crazy out here all right over here in florida maitland florida more about a shooting that hurt a man cleaning carpets at an apartment complex in maitland we first brought you this story is breaking news yesterday at 4:30. It happened at the Brickstone Maitland Summit Complex on Summit Center Way. News 6's Crystal Moyer tells us what she's learning from the investigation. We've been in constant contact with the victim's mother-in-law, who says he is a loving husband and father undergoing surgery right now at the hospital. Police say he was just doing his job when he was shot multiple times. 
According to a report, Maitland police say the victim was hired to clean the carpets at an apartment here at Brickstone Maitland Summit Thursday afternoon. When he arrived and started working, police say a man who was living there, 28-year-old Christopher Brooks, began arguing with him. Police say when the victim tried to leave, Brooks shot him in the back, then continued shooting at him until his gun ran out of bullets. Sky 6 flew over the scene, police saying they found the victim bleeding from his head and torso. Police also say Brooks had the victim's wallet. The report goes on to say there was a woman who lives in the apartment and was home at the time. She told police she heard the gunshots but blacked out. She told police Brooks moved into her apartment in March from Connecticut. This is Brooks during his first appearance in court today. Brooks is being held without bond at the Orange County Jail. We're still working to learn more about the relationship between him and the woman he was living with. In Maitland, Krista Moyer, Getting Results, News 6. Yeah, family, so there you have it. I mean, come on, man. The first reaction should not be to try to take a life. And if that's your mentality, the Most High is going to judge you. And when the Most High judges you, he doesn't, he doesn't only judge you, he judges your family. So you have to be very careful of your actions. Very, 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 very careful. I mean, sometimes you go in these extractions late in the night at some of these apartment complex, other people have problems with you. It's been times, you know what I mean? You go there for an emergency and the person upstairs, they're trying to go to sleep. And here you come with the machine, you know, at two, three in the morning outside the complex. And you know, some of these, some of these machines can be pretty loud. You know what I'm saying? You just had a long night. You're trying to get some sleep. Guess what? You can't tell everybody that, you know, what you're doing. I'm obviously not cleaning carpet. I'm there for an emergency. So it's been a few times that I had actually been confronted by people um, in Daytona, in Orlando, um, going to apartment complexes, servicing, all right, the complex because there's an emergency, okay? We are like first responders. Once we show up, the fire department shows up and let everybody know, okay, you know what? You guys can turn on the power. When they turn on the power, then we're, we're able to go in and install our drying equipment. All right? So people have to have patience. It's still not clear why the guy shot him, but obviously he was annoyed um, for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Guess what? The guy's locked up now, and that's something he won't be able to do ever again. So, guys... Have patience with people. You got to have patience. Okay? And at the end of the day, guess what? You follow the golden rule. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not covet. All right? But guess what? People in today's world, they don't know the Bible. They don't. They never been to Sunday school. They don't know what's wrong. They don't know what's right. So the whole world is out of course. And that is when you have situations like this. You know what I mean? The lady could have been killed herself. And then how in the world are you going to be act like, oh, this guy, he just moved in. Like, you didn't allow him to move in with you. So you don't know who this guy is, really? So this story is still not fully clear. But thank God the, 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 um, the carpet guy, the victim... You know, pull through and he's alive and he's able to clean carpets another day. All right. So let's not wish dead on anybody because whatever you wish on someone, it comes back on you. Believe that there is a God, man. All right, guys, I'm out. Dreddy. Alright, so rolling up, it's, it's always important you keep these two together. Alright? If not, when you roll it up, it's gonna go, this is gonna go one side, and this is gonna go one side, and when you're trying to take it off, it's gonna be a hell. Alright? So when you roll it up, usually just try to always have a glove. But you know what I'm saying? You wanna get calluses. See my hands? And you just try to keep them close. These two. If you just roll it up like this, 
and it goes wherever, it's gonna be a problem. But if you keep it like this, these two together, some machines, you don't have a button, so you gotta use your hand, you get them pop white arms, you know what I'm saying? So be careful. Unless you like pop white arms. <laughs> That's what I used to do. So you keep them together. Right now I got 300 feet on this, but actually 400 feet of pressure and vacuum. Really, these are supposed to hold 300 feet. And then you have this problem. Because too much is on there, you gotta use your hand now. But just keep these two together at all times. have it. 